everybody, welcome in. Today I bring you a dupes video. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been sitting on a couple of dupes that I knew I had and I was just kind of waiting to come up with some more to um, round it out and make a full video out of it. But what's interesting about the products in this video is that I'm not even so sure that some of the things I'm duping are insanely like popular or new or super talked about products. Maybe a few of them are, but they are all things that I have really enjoyed on the high end side and I'm really excited to have a drugstore alternative to share with you today. And we definitely have some dead-on dupes here. We've got everything from eyeshadow to blush to highlight and about five different lipsticks. So um, we're going to dig in, show you all of these going on, also the swatches, also the price comparison. I don't have the prices all memorized, so keep an eye on your screen for that. And yeah, let's get started. We're going to kick things off with blush. And this is an amazing high-end blush. I really have loved it for years. It was the first NARS blush I actually ever tried and it's in the shade called Dolce Vita and it really looks somewhat unremarkable in the pan it's not one of those you might really ooh and awe over at the sight of it but it's sort of like a really dusty rose really makes me think of an in from the cold kind of blush shade it's really beautiful year-round it looks more neutral in the compact but gives off way more rosiness oddly as it shears out on the cheeks so I've got that on this side but then my dupe for that is this shade from CoverGirl and it's called Brick Rose. It's from the Cheekers line. And I've had both of these in my collection for quite some time. And it wasn't until just recently that I put my finger on the fact that they're really, really similar. You look at Brick Rose and again, it has sort of that neutrally look, like maybe there's some dusty rose going on. But then once you apply it to the cheeks, you can see a little bit more of that rosiness coming through. And it's really beautiful. And I feel like these two are definitely on the same level color-wise. So I love both. And if you're looking for a lower cost alternative to Dolce Vita, check out Brick Rose. Next up, I I've got a highlight that I think is a pretty buzzed about highlight. It is the uh, Benefit highlight in the shade called Cookie. And I really wanted to spotlight this because I've got it in two different palettes, this Cheek Leaders one, and it's also part of their new Cheek Stars palette. So I thought, what if folks don't want it contained in a palette and what if they'd like to save a whole lot of money on it in general? So this is a really bold highlight, super duper shiny. It has the potential to look very, very prominent on the skin. And you might think, well, that looks like a pretty common highlight shade. Um, it's probably not that hard to dupe. Well, I've got a stack of about eight different drugstore highlights that I thought would be in the ballpark, but they were either too cool, too warm, not quite pigmented enough. And the interesting thing about Cookie is it's a really fine line. It does have a little bit of warmth in it that some super duper cool highlights just can't quite get on par with. But the one that I found that was a definite dupe is this one from Milani. It's actually my split pan highlight, but we're talking about this shade over here. Um, it's the Highlighter Duo and Supercharged. I wasn't really originally super amazed by this at the get-go. I wasn't sure why they called it a cream and powder duo was my main thing, because this doesn't really feel like cream to me. They both feel like powders. But whatever the case, this shade over here is also super shiny, the exact same tone as Cookie, and I think it applies the very same way. So if you are looking for something that can give you the exact same look, check out Milani Supercharged. It's the highlighter duo. Now, granted, I did find a lot of highlights that were really close, just very, very similar, but I was looking for an exact dupe in the very same tone. So I'm not saying you couldn't get similar looks with a lot of other highlights, but that is the exact shade dupe. Now, here's a dupe I've been sitting on for quite some time. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's the Dolce Vita Eyeshadow Quad. So here we've got a series of kind of like satin shimmer finish eyeshadows and one here that's a bronzy shade that's extra extra shimmery it's got a little sparkle to it um, while I didn't exactly dupe that texture it doesn't really upset me because this one I mean I've always found it to be flaky and kind of the dud of the quad it wouldn't really create that much color payoff so basically I've got a better drugstore dupe here and this is the L'Oreal Color Riche pocket palette in the shade boudoir charm and this is so on point with this palette and part of the reason why is because it does have have that satiny finish in all these shades and then a bronzy shade that I think is actually much more easy to manage and build up on the eyes. So I did a quick look with these today, um, one on each eye. I started with kind of the dirty bronzy brown shade and I applied that to both of my creases. That's just a really like kind of swampy murky shade there but the L'Oreal is definitely the same as the Charlotte Tilbury shade. Then with the rusty burgundy um, I kind of patted that on the outer part of the eye and worked it up into the crease a little bit and then used a blending brush 
brush to just sheer that out. It's not really like a super pure burgundy with either of these. It's not an intensely reddish burgundy like you might find in other palettes. They both have a lot of brown mixed in there. Then we've got a light pearly shade and for that I used that as my highlight first um, just with a fluffy brush up under the brow and then I used a flat brush to pat that on the lid and that definitely has the same tone, same level of shimmer in both of these compacts. Um, on the under part of the eye I used a smudge brush and just went back to that dirty bronzy brown. It started on the outer part of the lower lash line and then just worked it in. I did not use the bronzy color because it's really not exactly the same in both palettes. Like I said I think it's more manageable just a better easier shade in the L'Oreal. But that is a really pretty palette. You can wear it even more deep dark intense vampy than we did today. I just wanted to spotlight those three colors and show each of them off as best I could but if you went darker on the lid I mean it could be a really potentially vampy rich palette. But I was so excited that I found that one from L'Oreal to dupe it. Now guys we're going to talk about five different lip colors. In this mix we've definitely got a couple of my most favorite high-end lip colors including probably the top favorite for me which I'm wearing right now and I've got a dupe on the other side of my lips. So let's go lightest to darkest. The first one here that I want to discuss is this super adorable lipstick from YSL. I got this last Valentine's Day um, and it's no longer available but it's a really pretty color that I think would appeal to a lot of people so I thought hey let's try to find a dupe here. I think this is the color 44. It's one of their shiny lipsticks. It's a really beautiful soft pinky nude and I thought I've got to have that shade and that finish somewhere in my collection and guess what? If you got my ColourPop lip bundle you've got the dupe for that shade in here with the color called Always Right and it is that nudie pink color. Heavier on the pink I think and it's got that perfect amount of shine as well and just a really great smooth balmy texture that I think really matches up with the YSL actually. So I was excited to find an alternative for that because again you can't find it anymore. Next up we've got this one from Charlotte Tilbury and I don't really hear people talking about these lipsticks as much. This is the Pillow Talk lipstick and it's one of the skinny ones that has the super shiny finish and I think these are really great actually. They feel awesome on the lips. The one thing about them is that you do have to build them up a little to see a lot of color on your lips. I've got a couple of these. The other I just could not find a dupe for but I did find a dupe for this Pillow Talk shade which actually I think comes off kind of mauve on the lips. My lips naturally have a lot of mauve tone in them. They're not like super bright and rosy so this kind of amounts to a your lips but better type of shade on me. So I've got that on the one side of my lips but the dupe for that is definitely this color from Physicians Formula and it's the shade called Mauvin to Brazil or Moven to Brazil I guess if you like to pronounce it that way. But with these lipsticks you actually have to go a lot lighter. The butter lipsticks from Physicians Formula they're shiny, they're really really glossy but a little goes a long way. If you lay these on too thick, provide way too much pressure, you're going to feel like you've way over gooped your lips. So just go lightly with that and you will find that it is a really nice dupe. Definitely mimics that mauve your lips but better tone and I really like that. Also those are both just shiny shades. There's no shimmer in them whatsoever. Same with the YSL that I just mentioned. Now we've got something with a little less shine. This shade might be in my top five overall of high-end lipsticks. Definitely one of my most worn. It's been a major like purse color that I've tended to throw on out and about quite a bit and it is this Marc Jacobs shade. By the way, Thank you for the magnetic closure. Some things can't be duped. But it's a color called Slow Burn and I really like this deep rich pink. Um, I wouldn't quite call it a berry because somehow it maintains some lightness and coolness but it is kind of a deeper pinky shade. This is a creamy lipstick. It's not a full-on matte and I feel like my dupe is a little more matte than this but the shade is 100% there and it is the Superstay Lip Crayon which I do love this formula in itself too. The ink crayon in the shade called uh, lead the way. I feel this is very much on point with the tone of pink. There's not any purple really infused in this shade so it really doesn't make me think berry but a nice kind of rich easy wearable pink and I would say the Super Stay is just a little more matte but they're both very very comfortable and I think really really close dupes. All right we are duping Pat McGrath with the dollar store my friends. This shade that I have in a mini here is one of her matte lipsticks in the shade 1995. This one is actually really 
really close to the one I just mentioned, Slow Burn from Marc Jacobs, only I feel like it's got a little more neutral in it and perhaps just a hint more warmth. The shade that I've got that I feel is a really close dupe is from Broadway. Um, this is something I find at Dollar General. It's the True Matte Lipstick and the shade is called Nude Rose. And I find it to be very on point with that shade. It might have just a little bit more shine. Sometimes it's really hard to dupe a texture as well as a color, um, but I tried to get it as close as I could. And I think if you like that sort of dusty rose with a, just a splash of warmth, you might enjoy um, 1995 or its dupe, Nude Rose. Guys, last but not least, this was the hardest dupe to find. Um, this is probably my most favorite high-end lipstick. It's the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, the Matte Revolution in Bond Girl. And I love this shade so much, but it's really, really hard to peg. The thing you'll notice about some of these high-end shades is that they're a little more murky. They kind of run between the lines. There might be more dusty type shades, whereas from the drugstore, I feel like I'm reaching for dupes, but some of the colors end up being just more pure, a little bit brighter. Some of these different high-end lipsticks, they've just got a lot of neutral infused, and it's hard to put your finger on the exact dupe. But Bond Girl, uh, this is one I've fallen into again recently. You've seen me wearing it, I think, in a couple of recent videos, and it's definitely like a dusty red, not a pure red. It doesn't go toward a berry at all. But it's just kind of this murky, soft red. And I think I've duped both the formula and the shade with this color from L'Oreal. It's the Color Riche lipstick, and the shade is called Rebel Rouge. And here I feel like we're mimicking that same tone. It might be a hint cooler, but it's really on par with the depth, with the overall shade, and with the feel and finish on the lips. So I've got Rebel Rouge over here. I've got Bond Girl over here. Sorry if my lip line isn't super clean. I've been putting on lipsticks all morning, but I was really, really pleased to find that dupe. And so happy with all of these. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have other dupe requests, always let me know. I love finding good, accurate dupes, ways to save money. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending time with me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.